the raccoon. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo, and I'm a junior ranger. But you can call me Super Ranger Leo for now. And this is my puppy and sidekick, Hero. Did you hear that, Hero? It's coming from behind the house. Let's go. What a mess. Hey, it's a gray and white animal. It's wearing a mask, too. Oh, wait. That's not a mask. That's his fur. It's a raccoon. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Over here, raccoon. Hi, Katie. I just sent you a photo of a raccoon. We found it going through our trash. Hi, Leo. I received the photo. It's still young. What a cute raccoon. Can you find out more about it? Yes, I can. Great. I'll come up right away. Hero, you stay here with our new friend. I'll be right back. <laughs> come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Hi, Katie. So what did you find out about the raccoon? Hi, Leo. Well, you already know it's a raccoon, but it's also known as the common raccoon or the northern raccoon. The raccoon originates from North America, but today, common raccoons can also be found in parts of Europe and Japan. They can live anywhere from forests to marshes and even in urban areas. Urban areas? You mean like cities and towns? Yes. In urban areas, raccoons can build homes and resting places in boxes, abandoned vehicles, and chimneys. To find food, raccoons sometimes look through trash bins and may even break into kitchens. That's where I found our raccoon, in our trash bin. Although they can find food in urban areas, raccoons belong in the wild. That is where they can hunt for worms, nuts, and fish to eat. We should bring the raccoon back to its natural habitat, where it can find its own food. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Rocky. Hello, Junior Rangers. Welcome to the forest. What do you have this time? Ah, a young raccoon. It was searching for food in our trash bin. I'm not surprised, Leo. Raccoons have paws with a good sense of touch. These paws can open bins, bags, and containers easily. Raccoons are also one of the few animals that can climb down a tree head first. With quick paws, sharp ears, and good night vision, raccoons are able to catch food easily on both land and water. In many ways, raccoons are even more clever than a fox. That's why raccoons can easily adapt to the life in urban areas, like cities. Of course, living in the wild is still safer for the raccoon, because there is no traffic to worry about. For two months, Newborn raccoons stay with their mother, high up in the trees. After that, the cubs are allowed to walk around on the ground with their mother. Both mother and cub will live in a home built in a fallen log, tree hollow, or burrow. And a raccoon's home is called a den. So, we can reunite our raccoon with its mother if we can find their den. That's right, Katie. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. 
So let's see what we can find. Here is a fallen log in a forest. And on this side is a nest in a tree. Do you know where we should go? Over there is a fallen log in a forest. And over there is a nest in a tree. So where should we go? There? That's right! We need to go to the fallen log in the forest because raccoons build their homes in fallen logs. Let's go! What is it, Hero? Hey, look! There are more raccoons in the tree. Maybe it's the family of our raccoon. But they don't look very friendly. Raccoons prefer to live alone. But sometimes, male raccoons form a group of up to four. They do this to fight against other raccoons during mating season. They also do not like young raccoons that are not their own. Hey, stop that! Oh, it says here that raccoons do not like bright lights, strong smells, and loud noises. Hero, what are you doing? Hero, I don't think this is the right time. Hero, I don't think it smells enough to scare the raccoons away. That's a much better idea, Hero. We did it! They're gone at last! So what should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers! Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Raccoons eat a lot of animals that live in water. So, if you want to find the raccoon's home, just look for a fallen log near a river or lake. Not for a strawberry shortcake or a chocolate milkshake. But look for a fallen log near a river or lake. I see. So not for a strawberry shortcake or a chocolate milkshake, but look, but look for, for a fallen, fallen log, log near, near a river, river or, or lake. lake. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. OK, Hero, to find the raccoon's home, you have to look for a fallen log near a river or lake. Good luck. Hero, there are a few dots in your radar. One of them might be a fallen log. What's that? It's a snail on a rock. So let's move on. Is this a fallen log? Hmm, no. It's a pile of leaves. But there is a lake. So I think we're getting closer. Is that a fallen log? Yes, it is. And that's a raccoon family! Well done, Hero! We're coming over now! Oh, so cute! It's a big family! We did it! We found the raccoon's home and its family! Great job, everyone! Yay! Hooray! We found a young raccoon in our trash bin. We learned that raccoons can live in the wild and in urban areas, but it's much safer for raccoons to live in the wild. So we went to the forest and found the raccoon's home and family. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. Thank <laughs> you.